Hi Taurus! Welcome to your September 2020 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tara. Taurus, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe and healthy whenever you're guided to watch this video. Before I get into the reading, I do want to answer the number one most frequently asked question I receive on YouTube, Instagram, wherever. Um, do I accept orders for personal readings? And the answer is I do not. However, I do hold a monthly contest where I do select one lucky subscriber to win a free 30-minute personal reading with me. If you're interested in entering for the contest, open up the description box of this video and you'll find the rules of entry there, just in case you're interested. But let's get to business, Taurus. <laughs> this is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other sign you feel, or placement that you feel guided to watch for the sign of Taurus. This will not resonate with every Taurus that listens to this message. Messages are said for those who need to hear them the most, and that's how my intuition and guides prioritize the messages that I provide during this reading. If this reading is not for you, Taurus, I suggest checking out your other signs in different placements, because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Also, Taurus, it's important to remember that this reading is general, where I am tapping into a collective of thousands of energies. Therefore, not every message in this reading may be for you. Please only take what resonates with you, and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. Hi, Cross Watchers! You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Taurus. Who wouldn't be? I do have to remind cross watchers and Taurus that energy is fluid. Therefore, you may feel like I'm describing a certain role or scenario where the roles are flipped in reverse, and you're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles should that specifically resonate with your situation the most. But because this is a Taurus reading, I will make Taurus the main subject of the reading. Alright Taurus, let's go ahead and get started. All right, Taurus, let's get started. So Taurus, I'm gonna ask for an energy to come through for you that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you. I'm gonna ask how they feel about you, what they think about you, what they like about you, what they don't like about you, and what their highest hopes and deepest fears are in regards to this connection with you. Interesting. Oh, Taurus. <laughs> Someone regrets something here. Deeply regrets something here. Someone's very sad about a past connection with you, Taurus. I hate to say it, but we have the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you are definitely single or maybe have just came out of a relationship. Maybe you've recently just broken off something with someone that wasn't fulfilling you or something that someone did that they regret doing to you because it caused the end of a relationship or the end of a connection in some way. At the bottom, oh. <laughs> well that's weird. At the bottom of the deck we had the Ace of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy, but that it fell over for this Nine of Swords Energy, Gemini Energy. Wow, someone wants to talk. Someone wants to talk. Someone has a lot on their mind. Someone wants to open up communication with you. Someone has something to say to you. Some sort of truth that maybe have been withheld. Maybe has been, I don't know, Taurus, if you feel like this person has lied to you in the past. Um, but whatever this is, they really want to talk. They want you back for some of you, absolutely. Absolutely. Someone absolutely misses you, but they feel like they can't get to you. They feel like they can't communicate with you. They feel like you've completely blocked them energetically. 
maybe even on social media online. Maybe this person was like worked with you with the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, or maybe you guys are in the same career field. Maybe you guys, I don't know, for some of you, you're taking like a class together or you met in a class together for some, but ugh, Taurus, they feel like you've completely closed yourself off to them. What's this Ace of Swords? Why is this Ace of Swords here for my Taurians in the background energy? Oops. Judgment. They feel like whatever they have to say to you, Taurus, some sort of truth will bring you clarity and maybe deciding to give this another chance to give this another shot. Because really, Pisces energy here, some of you could be connected to a Pisces or you could have Pisces in your chart. They view you as wish fulfillment. I feel like someone really wants a return here or you to return back into their life. I feel almost as if they're waiting for you to give them the green light to open up communication again or to provide some sort of knowledge to you that may change your mind in some way. I, let's see what else. Or Taurus, for some of you, sorry, I've just picked up on this. Um, someone may be finally ready to tell you something that you've been waiting to hear from them, that you've been wanting to manifest, like with that Nine of Cups, like something that would make you very, very happy to hear. But because whether it's like telling them, telling you how they feel about you or telling you that, you know, what they did was wrong by not, you know, giving you what you needed when you asked for it, love, attention, affection, emotional um, availability in some way. It could be vice versa, right? But like something where they withhold, held a lot. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, they're ready to work on this now, Taurus, right? Now that you gave up on this, now that you dropped this, now that you walked away from this, now that they're ready. Some of them have come into an understanding, Taurus, of what they lost when you walked away or when you ended this or when this ended in general. And now they see that this is something that they want to work on, that they want to even change about themselves for some. Let's get into this. How they feel about you, Taurus. Five of Cups, loss, sadness. Scorpio energy. Some of you could be connected to a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. There's some sort of regret here. Or some sort of just yearning, missing, wanting, but not having. But I feel, Taurus, that this person... In a way, for some, not all, is like kind of crying over spilled milk instead of doing anything about it. I feel, Taurus, that with this person, you saw that there's a lack of action or a lack of interest. And you kind of had it. <laughs> you weren't going to take it anymore. And so a lot of you just redirected your energy on someone or something else, maybe some healing within yourself. And for a while, maybe not anymore, but for a while, you just wanted this person to do something, to act on their feelings or to reveal their feelings to you. And they just weren't able to, so things ended or things have been stagnant or things have not been going so great whatsoever. I almost feel like someone thought someone else was a distraction in a way, like a distraction to their career a distraction to what they wanted to achieve in their life for someone out there. I'm also picking up that someone is not a very good cook <laughs> at all and they prefer to get takeout than cook for you or maybe Taurus you're not the great cooker. I don't know. Let's let's see why this five of cups is here. The hermit. Virgo energy. Some of you could be connected to a Virgo. You could have Virgo in your chart. Four of Swords. They're internalizing this, Taurus. They haven't, you know, reached out to you, although they really want to, but they feel like you're going to reject them. You're going to close the door on them because this is something 
that you may feel is an end, a wrap. But really, they just didn't, they internalized a lot of their feelings towards you. They weren't able to speak how they felt about you. They were even pushing you away, Taurus, to some degree, making you feel as if you couldn't help resolve what was ever going on within them. I almost feel like, Taurus, there may have been something going on in their life that you didn't know about, yet a feeling about because maybe there was like a change of energy all of a sudden. But it's like they didn't want you to help in any way. And instead of telling you what was wrong, what was going on in their life, they just pushed you away. Someone could also have a problem with drinking. I'm picking up on as well for someone. But yeah, Taurus, my goodness. Someone's really hurt over this, but you know, you should have, or someone should have made it very clear instead of internalizing, instead of pushing away, instead of rejecting. Because the more you do that, the more someone else is going to be like, okay, yeah, you know what? They don't want me. Why am I sticking around? Why am I staying in somewhere where I'm unhappy? They're clearly unhappy. I'm not going to, you know, keep on trying. And some of you gave up and now they're upset about it. I don't know. But this is the damn thing right here, Taurus. What they think about you is Nine of Cups energy, Pisces energy. Again, some of you could have Pisces in your chart. You could be connected to a Pisces. They think of you as emotional fulfillment. I gotta say, Taurus, I feel as if some of you may have picked up on a codependent energy. You know, it's like they didn't want to talk about their emotions but still wanted you around. In a way, I, it's very complicated with this person and you wanted something that was easy. Not easy, but like not as complicated as this. Something where you can talk about your feelings, you could be open with one another and feel happy in the connection. And Taurus, I feel like you weren't happy, so you had to leave. You had to go pursue something or someone that would make you feel like they really cared about having you in their life to some degree. By the way, we have 999 on the board. Um, you, nine, you could be seeing a lot of nines. The number nine may be significant to you. Um, you could be a life path number nine. You could be born on April 29th, May 9th, or May 19th. Or someone could be born in September. It could be a Virgo or a Libra. Whatever the case is. Um, you know, you, you just about had it with this person. <laughs> If you already didn't end it already, despite what they may say to you, I feel like this is where the codependency that codependency came in, Taurus. It's like, you know what? You tried. You tried to get this person to open up. You tried to work on this with this person, and they kept on shutting you down. So then you're like, you know what? I'm not gonna try anymore. Or whatever. And then it's like that's when they were like, hey, where'd you go? Like text you because you stopped texting or. You, that kind of thing and it just wasn't something needs to be healed within someone here and before that can happen this really can't go anywhere again I feel addiction issues for someone drug or alcohol sex um, food for someone But you can't bite the hand that's feeding you. And Taurus, I feel like this person kept on gnawing at your hand when you just tried to make things better or you tried to help. I'm, here, I'm seeing like a hookup in the bathroom. I don't know if that's confirmation for someone and I feel like it was like a public place, like a restaurant or like a bar or a club. I don't know. Could have been just someone's bathroom, but that may be confirmation for someone. What they like about you, Taurus. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Some of you could have Capricorn in your chart. You provided stability. I feel like you were the rock in the connection. You tried to hold everything together. You tried to make everything work. Um, again, some of you could be business partners or worked at the same place or worked in the same field. You could have met at work in some way where you guys have like the same financial interests or goals. Um, but they saw that you were about your bag, you were about your money, and they did like that. They liked that you were determined, that you were focused. 
Or again, there is something where like, I don't know if someone's saving up for their own place or for their own car. Maybe at one period of time, of course, you even thought about moving in together or that was a topic of conversation that both of you were working towards before things kind of went south. Someone could be from the south or like the south of a country, the south of the state. But yeah, I also feel Taurus, like, I don't know, for a while it worked where you were really open to taking things to the next level, you were open to talk, and the other person was just happy to be closed, and for a bit maybe that was what was allowed for a period of time, but not anymore. So what they don't like about you, Taurus, to a swords energy, Libra energy, some of you could have Libra in your chart, I mean, you're just not having this anymore, Taurus. You're blocking this person. You're blocking this energy. You're blocking the situation. They feel like they can't communicate to you. They feel like you wouldn't give them a chance because you're just protecting yourself. You're protecting your energy. They feel, and whether this is true or not, Taurus, they feel like you, there's still some closure here that they want with you and that you are not giving to them. But Taurus, you feel as if you spelled it out pretty loud and clear. You know, what, what else do you want me to say? I feel like I've told you everything that you needed to hear now, whether you wanted to hear it or not. That's something on someone else. Taurus, I even feel like they tried to seduce you in some way or to flirt with you and you really were just like, Oh, really? Like, girl, bye. Like, you're really going to try to come in here, flirt and text, and that's how you think you're going to get off on the right foot with me? Mm-mm. You can keep your pants on and fastened. Also, someone could be bilingual. You could be bilingual, Taurus. What they like the most about the connection, Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's strong sexual attraction here. You're not surprised, you're not impressed by it. Um, but they are. <laughs> um, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You could have fire in your chart, you could be connected to a fire sign. Um, when they met you, I feel like the sexual chemistry was very, very prevalent, was very, very... This person, I feel like they licked their lips when they looked at you or when they thought about you. Like, I'm seeing lip licking here. Oh. I heard thong bikini. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe you met at the beach. Maybe you live somewhere where it's sunny and beachy. Um, but maybe they've seen you in a thong bikini before. Maybe you've seen them in a thong bikini. But that came out loud and clear. Uh, maybe you sent pictures of yourself in a thong bikini. Or, you know, vice versa, they sent some to you. But, yeah, I mean... They like the fact that they are extremely sexually attracted to you. And again, the sex was bomb. If you guys had sex, if you didn't have sex, the chemistry was bomb. But yeah, I'm also seeing like hooking up in a car for someone as well. And someone knew how to read, okay? That's what I'm going to say here on YouTube. Someone knew how to read. But there's more you want in Taurus. You know, there's more you want in a connection than just sexual energy. And for a while, that's all they wanted it to be until you really did leave, until you really did go, until they weren't being emotionally available, they weren't opening up. Doors closed, I'm done. You're not getting a piece of this again. You know, and they really thought that there's some sort of venue or avenue that could come through. But I feel like with this Ace of Swords, or Ace of Swords energy again, excuse me, um, there has been some sort of change within them, but it took you to establish that boundary or walk away for them to realize it. Now, whether that makes a difference in your opinion about this person, probably not. Maybe. But it took too damn long. What they don't like about the connection, Six of Cups energy. Scorpio energy again. Whether you have it in your chart, you could be dealing with one, doesn't have to be the case. 
reminiscing, fantasizing about the past, right? And this was that Five of Cups energy, kind of just like, oh, what could have been, what I did wrong, now Taurus is gone, I'm just stuck here. Well, if you really want to impress me, do something that really shows me that you care, that really shows me that you're interested, instead of just wallowing in your pity. I don't know, I even get Taurus, like, they even try to, like, contact your family members or your friends to tell you, like, how sad they are that they missed you, try to get some sort of loop back into your life, and it's kind of, eh, it's kind of clingy, kind of codependent. Again, not for everyone, and it could be vice versa. But it's like they want to only think about or reminisce about or just, like, think that the relationship can work based on the best of the past, but don't want to go over some of the shit that made it that, so it didn't work. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. And some of you don't like it, but the fact that, you know, this person's still trying to come back or still trying to, you know, make something out of this when they had every opportunity before. Highest hopes. Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy again. So different messages for different groups of you bear with me here for some of you they want to take you back off the market if those of you that are single you've been mingling i feel like they've heard about it i feel like they've even like spied on the people you're talking to or maybe you know you've been like really close or talking to some other person that they found out whether through social media or through like word of mouth they think they can do better than this person that you're involved with for some of you and they even want to take you away from that person okay jealousy is active here just to let you know others of you they want you to convince they want to convince you that you guys should get back together right nine of pentacles is a very single energy and I feel as if, yeah, right now, both of you are, are definitely, or maybe one of you are single. And they want to persuade you to come back. Because you're looking too damn good, Taurus. There's something new that you may have done to your hair, to your style. Um, something that's made you glow and shine. Maybe it's just the energy of letting something go and welcoming something new into your life. Someone has very nice cheekbones. Very nice high cheekbones, a very nice like facial structure. Oh, they miss sucking on some biddies. Okay, we need to keep the somewhat PG-13 slash R-rated for YouTube. But yeah, someone misses that, absolutely. So yeah, I think they want to, you know, get you... In their, I'm hearing in their lap again. I don't know if you sat in this person's lap or they sat in your lap a lot. But yeah, they just want to have you back in their life, Taurus. They want to take you out of being single and get back together with you again, straight up. But others, I gotta say, if that's not the case, for you, some of you it isn't, they still want to have you and not be committed, AKA have their cake and eat it too, like it was in the past, and that's what exactly you're avoiding. No, no, no. Not going back down that avenue again. But really, for most of you with the Ace of Swords judgment and Eight of Pentacles, A, they either know it's gonna be a lot of work to convince you to come back, or B, they may be willing now to put some sort of effort in. Deepest Fears, King of Cups energy. Scorpio energy <sighs> that either you've moved on you're not interested anymore romantically emotionally in this person you're keeping your cup to yourself and you're waiting for someone new to come in that will be more emotionally fulfilling for you and they know that or for others of you with this emotional unavailability and this closing up and I mean that they don't still want to emotionally open up to you or be there for you emotionally, or being emotionally available in the slightest. I feel secretive energy from this person as well. For some, and you felt that like shady, sneaky energy too, and you were not digging it. 
For the likely outcome of this situation, Taurus, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box and you'll find a link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But before we go, Taurus, I will pull a card from this deck here. I'm going to ask Spirit, what is this person's intentions with you, Taurus? I'm seeing a rose with thorns. Interesting. I don't know if that's a tattoo someone has. Someone likes roses, rose scented things, rose flavored things. Maybe a message. Or it could just mean that this person still loves you to some degree. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world with healing family issues. Yeah, I told you someone needed to do some healing here. And I feel as if they still want to get you back without doing that healing. And you recognize this within this person as well, Taurus. But yeah, I feel, Taurus, that they want to take you out. Maybe go over to your house, Netflix and chill. Um, really get it so they can communicate or get back with you because these people are wearing wedding attire, right? And they want to even like take you back into away from others or options of others and to be with them again. But they need to heal something within them. Again, whether that is addiction, codependency, or something, they need to start being real and authentic and stop trying to be the smoke and mirrors type of energy with you. Because it's not working and it will not work and it may already have sealed the deal. I don't know. We'll go ahead and see in the likely outcome, Taurus. So again, if you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. If this is where we depart, Taurus, I really hope that this resonated with you or that you gained some insight and clarity in regards to what's going on in your love life. If you did, please let me know. Please drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Taurus, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Taurus.